Welcome. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how can we visualize the correlation matrix using the package called ggplot2, which is also known as Corlogram. Okay, so in order to draw the correlation matrix, or you can say to visualize the correlation matrix, so we need another package called as ggcowr plot. Okay, so first of all, we are going to install it. So I have already installed it. Now I am calling this particular package. So in order to draw the correlation matrix, the data set I am using, which is the built-in data set, which is empty car. So I am just uh, calling that data. So you can check the data set using empty cars. That is the name of the variable in which the entire, entire data set is available. So right now we are interested, first of all, to find out the correlation between all these variables. Okay. So how we can do that? We can use the function called cur, then the name of the variable in which we have the entire data set. Then using the round function, I am saying that show me the correlation uh, from uh, after the fraction point up to one digit. Okay, and then I am storing that correlation matrix in the variable called as cowr. Okay, and then we can see this is the correlation between all the variables. So CYL and MPG. So these two variables having the strong negative correlation. So similarly, uh, WT and DISP display having the strong positive correlation. Now, in order to check whether these correlations uh, are significant or not. So for that, we need to find out the p-values. So how we can do that? We can use the function of cor underscore pmat from this package. Okay, and then the name of the variable in which we have the entire data set. So if I run this and then I am just checking the first six. So if you want to check the entire uh, P values matrix, so you can write on uh, simple P dot mat. Okay, that is the name of the variable in which we have the P values matrix stored. Okay, so as you can see that uh, over here, we are saying that it is a strong negative relationship between CYL and MPG and uh, the P values is indicating because this P value is uh, almost zero, which is less than 5%. So that means uh, we can say that reject H naught that means um, CYL and MPG has the significant relationship and what kind of significant relationship they have the negative relationship. Okay, so by increasing the MPG so there is a significant decrease in CYL. Okay. Similarly, we can see DISP as well as MPG having the significant relationship. And this is the correlation is saying that they have the negative relationship. Now, the question is, if we want to visualize this um, uh, correlation matrix instead of getting the numbers, so we want to visualize it. So for that, we can call a function called ggcowr plot and then the name of the variable in which we have a correlation matrix. So if I run it, so you can see that this is the correlation. Uh, we, we, are, we can visualize the correlation matrix. So over here, so darker the color is indicating the darker, uh, the higher the correlation, okay? So as you can see that the red color is basically indicating the positive side. So lighter the red color, that means lower the correlation, okay? Whereas yeah, over zero, we are almost white color. Whereas the negative correlation are represented through by default blue color. So the lighter the blue color is indicating the lighter the correlation uh, between the variables. So over here, we can uh, see that it is a square uh, uh, symbol they have used to represent the correlation. So if you want to use the circle, so we can use uh, a method called circle. So I am running the another command. So now instead of showing in a circle, it is showing a square. It is showing us the in circle. Now next thing is now if you want to make the hierarchical cluster, which means um, uh, it is trying to get a cluster of the similar type of correlation. Instead of right now, we can see that it is quite in a scatter form. So after applying the this uh, HC order is equal to two. That is the hierarchical cluster is order is true. So that means the similar type of correlation is going to be uh, near with each other. Okay. So that is I am saying the outline of the color. So that means this circle's outline should be 
white okay so if i run this one so now you can see that they have reordered this uh, graph okay and the blue colors most of the blue colors are having the same cluster over here the red colors are having the clusters over here okay so that is by doing the hierarchical cluster is true now if you want to add the correlation values in these uh, circles so how we can do that by simply adding a command label is equal to lab is equal to true okay this is basically label is equal to true the rest of the thing is same so if i'm doing this you can see that they have added the correlation coefficient values now uh, if i want to see that which uh, one is a significant which one is not significant so you can add another uh, object that is basically p dot mat is equal to p dot mat which we have already calculated over here okay so if i run over here okay so you can see that the cross so these two variables do not have the significant correlation you can also check from the p value matrix as well so this is also not a significant so wherever you uh, you have seen the cross so that means among those two variables uh, there is no significant correlation between each other okay now as we know that whenever we are drawing the correlation between the variables so these two values like this one as well as that is wt uh, against uh, you can say that so they have the symmetrical in nature the correlation matrix so what does this mean that mean the draft and cap as well as you can see that the draft and cap this minus point one and this one and this is the same value so which means the upper triangle is equal to the lower triangle so these are the same numbers as you can see over here and over here so if i want to see only the lower or the upper correlation so i can add the type lower so it will show me the lower correlation uh, matrix so if i add over here upper so i will i can see the upper correlation matrix okay so the label is true so which means i want to add the correlation values as well as the label size is going to be 3 so that means i am mentioning the size of this correlation values okay uh, i am also mentioning the colors okay so these are the different uh, colors so that mean i am saying that uh, the positive uh, correlations the negative correlation are showing with the greens uh, okay with zeros okay this or you can say the smaller correlation are much much wider okay and then i am using the theme so that is basically the graphs background theme and the title of the graph is going to be hologram of the empty cars data set so if i run it now you can see that okay so right now it is showing me the positive correlation with respect to the green color uh the the smaller correlation are with respect to the white colors okay or or you can say much whiter as the correlation start decreasing okay if it is a negative correlation i can see with the red color okay so now with the help of uh, this ggcor plot we can draw the correlation um, matrix or you can say hologram of any data set so in the last this uh, particular graph i didn't enter the um, mat which mean didn't mention which one is the significant so you can add this one uh, so let me add this one as well uh, and then i can check that so which have the significant which one is not a significant as we can see that so these two variables this one and this one is not a significant correlation between each other similarly am as well as cap do not have the significant relationship between each other the rest of them has a significant relationship between each other so i hope you got the idea how we can draw the correlation the hologram or you can see the correlation matrix using r so thank you so much See you in the next video.